Hey, what's up everybody? This is Sam here from samnuka.com and I welcome you to this video today. We're going to be talking about YouTube channel growth hacks. Eight specifically, I'm going to give you eight tips that are going to help you grow your channel and rank your YouTube videos. Okay, so I've been out of producing video content for quite some time now. By that I mean about a month and so I wanted to come back with something quite strong that's going to be able to help you immediately. Okay, so the uh, number one trick, and I'm actually going to share with you, is a YouTube subscriber trick. Okay, now there's a link that you actually share. Now this might actually be through Google Plus or through your email list or whatever the case may be. It might actually be Facebook, for example. You're chatting with people and they're asking what your uh, your subscription uh, link actually is. Now the link itself is the one that you see here, right? This is typically what we would share. But if you actually add this little code right here, making the full link like this, if you copy paste and send people this, what's actually going to come up is instead of it's being sent to your channel and then having to for them having to find the subscribe, which could very easily be a distraction by them looking at other videos, maybe even watch one of your videos and then they've actually ended up watching another recommended video by YouTube, God forbid. And then they end up on somebody else's channel before they even like or subscribe to your channel. And that's the last thing you want. But if you add this little code that you've got right here, and I've got it in the description below, right? Um, I've got it in the description below so that you can just copy paste it and add it to your full link. It'll send them to the actual subscribe immediately. Okay. And then all they've got to do is click subscribe and then they check out the rest of your content. And trust me, this is going to help your subscriptions increase quite a bit. So YouTube channel hack trick number two, and that is YouTube video playlists. This may be something that you have or have not heard before, but it does really help to boost your videos. A standalone video has less of a chance of ranking than a video in an actual playlist. Now I'm not saying that it wouldn't rank without being a playlist. Uh, what I'm saying is that it's got a much better chance, right? And so what we're actually doing here Everything we're doing is helping us increase our chances of getting a subscriber or have someone like a video or a video ranking in the YouTube search engines, right? That's exactly what hacks actually are. And with this one, with YouTube video playlists, I suggest that you put every single video that you create into a specific list. As you can see here, I've got a ton of lists, right? And some of the videos go, you know, some of them there's only like five or six videos. Um, which means it's just one short series, but then there's some some of them that are like 40 or 50 videos long And that's just because over the year or two that I've been doing this it every uh, a video anything that I touch upon that is relevant to that specific topic I'll put it in that particular list because I know it's going to help me rank my video And if all goes well, it'll actually start ranking my playlist for specific keywords as well. Okay, so uh, YouTube channel hack uh, trip, uh, trip number three, which is YouTube end cards. Now, this is something that they brought in, obviously, for those of you who've been around for a while, they got rid of annotations and they put in these things called end cards. Now, I'm still kind of out in terms of whether I prefer these or whether I prefer um, annotations because I like annotations because you could edit them very specifically yourself. Um, whereas this is stuff, yes, you can edit it. Yes, you can put it all in place so it works exactly the way you want it. Um, but still, I prefer the annotations myself. This is still quite powerful though, and this is the way the game is done now. So any, any video that you upload now, you don't have a choice, right? The, the old annotations are still in place, but it's it, these are the end cards, and this is how it works now. So the way I've actually set up mines is an option here for people to click so that they can go and check out the channel. So you'll see something like this or similar to this at the end of this video. And the second option I've got over here is for them to actually subscribe, which is awesome. That's exactly what we want. Um, the, the, the next option is we've got like the next the, a video that I highly recommend that they watch. So obviously it's something to do um, that will provide a lot of value that will kind of solidify my authority or perhaps maybe even send them uh, to some sort of like an opt-in page or something like that, which you want to do with every single one of your videos anyways. Okay. And this video here is, um, I can't remember what exactly this is. I think this might be like the next in the playlist or the next recommended video from me. As, uh, as prescribed by YouTube, okay? So, YouTube channel growth hack tip number four, an actual call to action. Now, this is something that is very fundamental 
in um, online marketing and business, but it is something that is missed constantly by people who are new to marketing because they kind of get to the end of whatever it is that they're actually doing and they're too scared, they don't have the confidence or they don't feel like what they provide has enough value to actually give a solid call to action, right? You need to tell people exactly what to do at the end of your content. Now that content can be a blog post, it can be a you know Facebook value post that you put together, um, it might even be, uh, it can even be a YouTube video, obviously, right? And at the end of that video or at the end of that piece of content that you've put together, you wanna give them a very clear, solid call to action. And what I would suggest is that you pick one thing, okay, one thing for them to do. I've seen up to three work effectively before, but you have to build a lot of value with people before you can actually get to that point. So if you're going to do one and one thing only, I'm going to suggest that you have people go to your actual landing page of whatever it is that you're trying to promote, okay? If you don't know anything about landing pages, just go ahead and search my uh, YouTube channel. There's video training on that as well, okay? Or you can subscribe to my, um, my YouTube channel and I will show you how you can actually do that uh yourself okay because landing pages are highly highly important if you haven't set that up yet so that you can start capturing leads from day one which is something i highly regret not doing myself okay i probably lost out on about anywhere from 12 to 15 months of leads right which could be worth thousands and thousands of dollars okay especially when you take into consideration i was able to get my first 1600 plus sale um with only six subscribers and i was able to get my next big ticket sale of 1250 dollars right uh, at when I had 12 subscribers, okay? It shows you the power. So I went 15 months without any leads at all. Who knows what thousands of dollars those would actually be worth, okay? So if there's one thing that, if you're only gonna do one call to action, which is what I suggest you do, then I would tell you to get people to go to your landing page, provide them something valuable that they're actually gonna be able to opt in so that they can jump on your emailing list and you can market to them time and time again whatever it is that you're actually promoting, okay? So uh, point number two is if you're going to do two call to actions, okay? I would highly suggest, it really, really depends on what content you're putting out. But if you're doing YouTube videos, and I'm guessing that's what you're doing because, I mean, otherwise, what else would you be watching this video for? Um, I would suggest number one, obviously a landing page still, and number two, for people to subscribe to your channel because you want to be at, want them to be able to consume your content time and time again, and that's what allows you to build your authority in their subconscious mind, okay? If you're going to do three, like I said, I've seen three um, pulled off before, like in terms of like it actually worked, it was effective, um, people were actually taking action, you know, even, even I myself, but this guy was someone that I followed for years, and I knew what he provided was, was value, and so I actually went through and did all three things that he suggested I do, which I never do with anybody else, okay? So you need to build up a lot of value in order to get to that point, so I don't recommend it, but if you are going to do it, I would suggest, number one, again, sending them to a landing page, number two, getting them to subscribe to YouTube channel, number three, you want them to engage with whatever content that you've put out there. So. For example, if you've written a blog post, you want them to comment below the blog post. If you're if you if you're putting out a YouTube video like this, you want them to answer a question um, that you've that you've posed in the video, right? Or at least get them to comment below the video. Anything that that might actually work for you, and that that call to action can actually come anywhere during the video. I've seen it work anywhere from the first 30 seconds to the last 30 seconds to smack dab in the middle of the video. Okay, and I'll give you a, I'll give you a little um, a little plug in right now. So, for example, tell me. If is there is there a growth uh, is there a YouTube channel growth hack that I have missed that you would recommend that I put in this video or that I cover in a future video? Go ahead and comment below, and I will make sure I guarantee that I will put that video out just for you, the people who actually take the time to comment on this video. Okay, so that there is a call to action. It allows people to engage with the content, makes them feel like they're actually part of what it is that you're building, right? Which means you're building rapport naturally. And then if you actually, if I actually follow through and create a video for anyone who comments on this video, they're gonna be shocked that I actually did it because most people don't. By most, I'm talking like 99% of video people, okay? So those are three things that I suggest. Um, and the call to actions can be as simple as click here now, subscribe to my channel, like my video or get my free training at and then provide your link right and so call to actions don't need to be complicated but you absolutely need one at the end of every single piece of content that you put together or at the very least throughout the video or the content that you put together to tell them what to actually do it needs to be one very clear very very precise action that's going to get them to actually move beyond consuming your content okay so tip number five for our YouTube channel growth hack video is YouTube video description. This is something that is often missed
by a lot of people, right? And the reason being is because it does actually take work. What most people do is basically this, right? They've got an optimized uh, title, which you've got right here, and then they'll put in like a link or two, of whatever it is that they're actually promoting. They'll stuff some keywords in there, and then they're done, okay? Now, there is a there is a, a training that I've actually put together, a blog post training, which I'll, you'll be able to find in the description of this video, um, where you can actually go and read everything that you need to cover in terms of the actual video description. But essentially, what you want to do is you want to think of this in terms of a mini blog post, right? And when I say mini blog post, I'm talking anywhere from 300 to 600 words, okay? Now, this obviously isn't the best um, uh, example, if you will, of a, of a mini blog post, but it does cover everything that I go through, right? Step by step, and I could have made this better, and if you wanna learn more about that, go ahead and click on the link below, go to my actual blog post where you'll find out where it is that I've actually missed. If you come back and compare, you'll be able to see where it is, where I've missed what exactly that I've done. But this was a perfect little screenshot that I could put on this video that fits in everything that I'm gonna be covering in the final few points of in terms of that's gonna help you optimize your videos. Okay, so, what you really want to do is, is you want to put together a mini blog post that allows people to connect with you, to engage with your content, to be sent to a landing page that covers your keywords, that covers the content that you're actually going to cover, as well as a share link at, at the bottom below right here. Okay. Now there are other links here as well. We're going to be talking about those right now. So number six, links in the description of your YouTube video. Now when it comes to YouTube channel growth hack tips, this one is very very important because as awesome as it is to to grow your channel to do whatever it is that you want to do at the end of the day you're building a business and you want to be trying to make money so the very first thing you want to do in in terms of your links that you want to provide in a youtube video is you want to provide the link that you want to send people to so as you can see here my very first the very first line i've got my actual website uh page there because that's my landing page as you can see here right where you can go and get your eight step plan to building a six figure business online and then i've got the full blog post of the actual youtube video that i've got here and that's exactly what you'll see in the description of this particular video okay just to marry up the ideas and you'll be able to see exactly what i'm doing here those two links so number one to your landing page like i said in the call to action section is highly highly important and then number two the link to the actual blog post that you've put together for this video if you haven't put together a blog post then provide another valuable link perhaps maybe to a second landing page that might be uh, more specific to this particular video right or something that's related to it that's going to help them with whatever it is that they that you've sent them to okay so YouTube channel growth hack tip number seven, social network links. Now you don't wanna just create a whole bunch of network links that you're gonna be able, that you're gonna send people through to so that they can actually, you know, see that you've got all these channels. No, you wanna really focus on one or two channels that you can actually, that you actually engage on on a regular basis, right? Because then the last thing people wanna see is, for example, they'll go to Facebook and you haven't posted in three months, or they'll go to Instagram and then you haven't posted in three months, or they'll go to YouTube channel and then you haven't posted in a month, AKA myself, right? Don't do what I just did. What I just did, what you essentially want to do is send them to channels that you're actually engaged in regularly so that they can see what kind of person you are because they're trying to figure out whether they actually want to engage and connect with you or connect and engage with you, right? So <clears throat> an example here is, I've actually copy pasted the wrong links here. So sorry about that, but basically I would have my Facebook link here, my Instagram uh, account here, and my YouTube channel all here, okay? So that, and it's all, in, it's all in the written description so that people can actually click and go directly to those accounts. And, and again, you wanna make it as easy as possible for people. So obviously if they go to your Facebook, they can add you as a friend immediately, same with Instagram. And with the YouTube video, I already showed you the trick earlier on where you can actually just do the one click, go to the uh, subscribe option. So within two clicks, they can subscribe to your channel, okay? I started, started implementing this and it started increasing my subscribers immediately, okay? So I suggest that you obviously do the same thing. Okay, so the eighth and final YouTube channel growth hack tip that I'm going to cover for you tonight is uploading content consistently, okay? So I'm actually going against my own, my very own words, obviously, because I haven't been very consistent in the last couple of months, especially in the last month where I've essentially done no videos at all, right? So my number one tip to anyone, when I produce results in my business, when my results are coming in, it's when I'm actually consistent with what I'm doing. Now, when I talk about results, I'm talking to anything about uh, increased subscri subscribers with my YouTube channel, um, in uh, increased views of my uh, blog posts, increased subscribers to my YouTube channel, increased engagement on my Facebook channel, right? Or even Instagram for that matter. So essentially what it really comes down to is consistently, 
and consistently promoting, uh, sorry, uploading your content to whatever channel it is that you're doing. In this case, we're talking about YouTube. So you want to make sure that you're uploading consistently. Now, it doesn't really matter if your consistency is, you know, once a week or if it's seven times a week. Now, obviously, the more content you produce, the, the more successful you are going to be in due time, right? Because, I mean, obviously, someone who's, who's uploading 31 videos a month, compared to your, you know, someone who's uploading four per month, you know, it's probably going to rank higher. I'm not saying that you, that's a definite, because I see people uploading once a month, uh, once a week, and they're killing it in the search rank engines. It's because they're doing all of these things that I'm talking to you here, and then some, uh, some more advanced stuff as well, to really increase the chances. Not to mention they've got thousands of subscribers that watch their videos immediately, that engage with their content, and so on and so forth, right? So my number one tip to you and to anybody else that you know is trying to build a business or be successful at anything in life, if you want to come to, you want to put it down to that, is to be consistent with what you're doing, right? Like think about it. The fittest, the fittest you get is when you're training consistently, three, four, five times a week, every single week for multiple number of months, right? Uh, or, or the people who are the healthiest, right? That, or the people who lose weight are the ones who actually stick to their diet, you know, every single day for three, four, five, six months, as opposed to someone who does it really well for one week and then drops off for another week, I lie myself, right? So consistency is the key to succeeding at anything that you want to do. I've just given you eight tips that are going to help you grow your channel and help rank your YouTube videos. Now it's up to you to be consistent with the content that I've actually given so that you can actually go out and get it done yourself. Now, um, I've actually provided, uh, I've actually uh, created the, this, this slide right here. I've made it downloadable for you so that you can actually up, start applying these tips yourself to your business. I want you to print off the actual cheat sheet so that you've got the eight steps right there so that you can follow them immediately from day one, right? And I've got everything that's available below in the description of this video so that you can copy paste anything that you need to do there. Right, because I want you to succeed with these tips. I want you to come back to my channel and engage more and more and ask more questions and like more videos and subscribe to my channels and so on and so forth. Okay, so what I'm going to suggest to you is to go ahead and subscribe to this channel and then I'm going to suggest to you to go ahead to my landing page and get the free cheat sheet training that I've put together for this very content. Right, that you're going to be able to download and have on your desktop that you can use anytime you wish or share with anyone that you wish. All right, so thank you so much. We'll stop in by and watching this video. I'll be back again in the next couple of days with our next um, content video and you're going to enjoy it. So make sure you subscribe. Take care. Much love and I'll see you then.